Avi Loeb has suggested that 3 i Atlas is actually some type of alien technology sent here from another solar system. The alarms first went off in the orbital modeling departments at NASA. The math, which is usually accurate enough to land a rover on a dime millions of miles away, was suddenly wrong. A colossal interstellar object, Comet 3 I Atlas, was systematically veering off course. This wasn't a small error. It was a glaring anomaly. Discovered streaking through our system at speeds that guarantee it will never return, this comet is forcing a crisis in astronomy. It carries with it a bizarre chemical signature and a mystery that echoes a similar, deeply unsettling event from just a few years ago. Red Flags in the Void On the 1st of July, 2025, under the quiet hum of servers and the watchful eyes of astronomers, a new traveler announced its arrival. The Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, a robotic survey system designed to spot incoming threats, flagged a faint point of light moving with incredible purpose. This was 3I ATLAS. The 3I designation was a big deal, marking it as only the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected by humanity. But many people are crazy about these discoveries, not realizing what they truly mean. You see, this wasn't just another rock. This visitor was different. It was streaking through our solar system at nearly 60 kilometers per second. That's over 134,000 miles per hour, a speed so immense it easily overcomes the sun's massive gravitational pull, ensuring this object is on a one-way trip destined to return to the blackness between the stars. Initial estimates of its size were staggering. While its predecessor, the mysterious Oumuamua, was thought to be a few hundred feet long, 3I Atlas was a true giant. Scientists calculated its diameter to be somewhere between 3 and 7 meters, or roughly 10 to 23 feet across. This made it, without a doubt, the largest interstellar object humanity had ever laid eyes on, thousands of times more massive than Oumuamua. Its orbit was just as shocking. In astronomy, an object's path is measured by its eccentricity. An eccentricity of zero is a perfect circle, like the orbit of Venus. An eccentricity of one is a parabola, an escape trajectory. The eccentricity of 3I Atlas was over 6. This number screamed alien, not in the sense of little green men, but in its truest meaning, a foreigner, born in a star system far, far away. For a while, everything seemed normal, if you can call a giant alien iceberg hurtling through our system normal. Telescopes around the world, including the powerful James Webb Space Telescope, turned their gaze toward the visitor. They watched as it began to warm up on its approach to the sun, forming a coma, a fuzzy halo of gas and dust. This was expected comet behavior, but not all things are what they seem. As the object moved past the orbit of Mars heading toward the inner planets, the tracking data began to trigger alarms. The numbers coming back from the telescopes didn't match the predictions from the computers. The disconnect wasn't random, it was a systematic, persistent drift. The comet was veering off its predicted path. This is the kind of anomaly that gives orbital dynamicists nightmares. Their mathematical models, honed over decades of observation and capable of predicting celestial movements with pinpoint accuracy, were failing. Something was pushing or pulling on 3I Atlas. And the terrifying part? Nobody knew what it was. A force strong enough to move a mountain-sized object was at play, yet it was completely invisible. Nickel without iron. When a comet veers off its gravitational path, there's usually a simple explanation, outgassing. As the sun's warmth heats the icy nucleus, frozen gases erupt from the surface in powerful jets. It's a natural rocket engine. 
This non-gravitational force is well understood and has been successfully modeled for decades. So naturally, scientists assumed this was the case for 3I Atlas. They pointed the James Webb Space Telescope at the comet's coma to analyze its chemical makeup, hoping to measure the force of these jets. What they found didn't solve the mystery. It deepened it. The thing nobody tells you is that the chemical fingerprint of this comet was bizarre. Most comets in our solar system are like dirty snowballs, dominated by water ice. But 3I Atlas had an astonishing 8 to 1 ratio of carbon dioxide to water. Carbon dioxide was pouring off its nucleus at a rate of about 129 kilograms per second. That's nearly 285 pounds of gas blasting into space every single second. This was a major clue. Carbon dioxide vaporizes at much colder temperatures than water, so this could explain activity far from the sun. But here's the kicker. Even with this tremendous amount of outgassing, the numbers still didn't work. Given the object's immense mass estimated to be many thousands of times greater than Oumuamua, these jets simply lacked the horsepower. The force they generated was far too weak to explain the significant orbital drift being observed. It was like trying to steer a cruise ship with a handheld fan. The math refused to cooperate. The actual observed data showed a clear and undeniable divergence from the predicted path a path that already accounted for gravity, solar radiation, and the rocket effect from its gas jets. It was a crisis in the making, a clear signal that our understanding of cometary physics was, at best, incomplete. Then came another layer of weirdness. Using the Very Large Telescope, astronomers studied the light from the comet and detected something else that made no sense they found 22 distinct emission lines of atomic nickel in the coma. But here's the crazy part. There was no iron. In virtually all known cosmic materials from asteroids to planets, nickel and iron are found together like cosmic cousins. Finding one without the other is exceptionally rare and points to a very specific and very strange origin. The comet was not only moving in an impossible way, but it also seemed to be made of impossible stuff. Every new piece of data only added to the confusion, painting a portrait of an object that seemed determined to defy every category we tried to place it in. The comet's bizarre chemistry was a dead end, leaving scientists to stare at an impossible truth. Two visitors, one riddle, for anyone in the astronomical community, the strange behavior of 3I Atlas set off a deafening echo of a mystery from 2017. That was the year the first interstellar object, 1I Oumuamua, tumbled through our solar system. Oumuamua, a Hawaiian name meaning scout, also bent its path in a way that gravity alone couldn't explain. It accelerated away from the sun as if pushed by an invisible engine, but Oumuamua's mystery was, in some ways, even stranger. While Atlas had a visible coma and gas jets, Oumuamua had none. It was completely inert, showing no signs of outgassing. Yet, it sped up. The lack of a coma led some, like Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, to propose the exotic and controversial explanation that it could be an ultra-thin solar sail an artifact of an alien civilization. Now with 3I Atlas, science was facing the same problem, but on a ridiculously larger scale. Here was an object with a visible coma and measurable outgassing, yet those forces were completely inadequate for the job. The challenge with 3I Atlas is its sheer size and mass. The force required to alter the trajectory of such a behemoth is staggering. It made the gentle nudge Oumuamua received look like a tiny nudge in comparison. This wasn't just a repeat of an old mystery, it was the same mystery amplified a thousand times over. It was a pattern. Two interstellar visitors, two completely different looking objects, both defying our laws of motion. It was no longer possible to dismiss Oumuamua as a one-off fluke or a simple data error. 
Nature was sending us a message. Many people are crazy about the idea of alien technology, but the truth is often more subtle and profound. The arrival of 3i Atlas shifted the conversation inside the scientific community. The focus moved away from just explaining one weird object to a much bigger question. Do we actually understand how things move in space? The standard model of cometary physics, which had worked so well for objects born in our own solar system, was failing its first two major interstellar tests. This suggested the problem wasn't with the objects themselves, but with our understanding. Perhaps comets from other star systems are fundamentally different, built from lighter, less dense materials, or possessing internal structures we can't yet imagine. The rule book, it seemed, was being rewritten right before our eyes. And as we search for answers, a more unsettling question begins to surface. The view from down here. So let's just take a step back for a second. The thing is, when you strip away all the complex math and the scientific jargon, the situation is actually pretty simple to understand and deeply unsettling. An enormous object born in another solar system is currently flying through ours, and it's moving in a way that the smartest people on the planet, using our most powerful instruments, cannot explain. Does this all happen overnight? No, the data trickles in, day by day, painting a picture that gets stranger with every new observation. Is it possible we are just missing a key detail? Absolutely, but the detail we are missing might not be some small variable. It might be a fundamental piece of the entire cosmic puzzle. For most of us, space is something we look up at a collection of predictable clockwork motions. The sun rises, the moon goes through its phases, and the planets follow their steady paths. We put our trust in science to have figured all of that out. But the story of 3i Atlas is a stark reminder that the universe is far wilder and less understood than we imagine. The mainstream scientific community is hesitant to jump to extraordinary conclusions. They propose ideas like the comet fragmenting in a way that sends pieces off like tiny, invisible thrusters, or that its nucleus is far less dense than we assume, making it easier to push around. But these are just attempts to fit a square peg into a round hole, trying to make the anomaly fit our existing models. The more speculative ideas like the solar sail theory proposed for Oumuamua are still far outside the mainstream consensus for now. But the silence of a better explanation is becoming uncomfortable. If it's not outgassing and it's not some weird internal fragmentation, then what is it? This is where the theories start to get wild. You see, some researchers are starting to ask a bolder question. What if the movement isn't random at all? What if it's controlled? This leads to the idea of a Bracewell probe. This isn't just a simple artifact like a solar sail, it's a hypothetical autonomous robotic probe sent by an advanced civilization to explore other star systems. In this scenario, the orbital deviation isn't an accident of physics, it's a deliberate course correction. Perhaps the probe woke up as it entered our system and is now maneuvering to get a better look, using our sun's gravity for a slingshot maneuver to a new, more interesting target within our system. This theory would reframe the strange chemical signature not as natural, but as a byproduct of a propulsion system we don't understand. Then there are theories that don't involve aliens at all, but are somehow even stranger. What if the object isn't being pushed from within, but pulled by something we can't see? Our models of gravity are based on the matter we can detect, but we know that over 80% of the universe is made of dark matter and dark energy, stuff that is completely invisible to us. Could it be that 3i Atlas is interacting with a filament of dark matter or being influenced by forces that our current science literally cannot perceive? In this view, the comet isn't breaking the rules. It's playing by a different set of rules that we haven't discovered yet. 
And perhaps the wildest theory of all is that the object isn't a vessel or a natural anomaly, but a message. Some have speculated that the orbital deviation itself is the signal, a knock at the door on a cosmic scale. The thinking goes that any civilization advanced enough to notice such a tiny shift in a comet's path would be advanced enough to be worth contacting. The change in trajectory is a way of saying, we're here. Are you smart enough to see us? It's a chilling thought, turning this scientific puzzle into a potential first contact scenario. We are left in a place of profound uncertainty. The arrival of the Vera C. Rubin Observatory is expected to change the game, detecting dozens more of these interstellar intruders every year. This will give us more data, more chances to find an answer, but it could also just give us dozens more examples of objects that break our rules. Are we observers of a natural yet unknown phenomenon, or are we witnessing the echo of a technology far beyond our own? What do you think is guiding this interstellar traveler? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more journeys into the unknown.